This could look pretty nice too in an email, which you can see right here. Uh, would probably look a little bit better. So for those of you that deal with a bad email signature inside of Google, always having to manually type out something at the end of this is pretty frustrating for any one doing email. But there's this tip that I learned from Jeff Sue that I wanted to give a quick shout out that I think you're gonna really like. So if you're looking to create a free custom signature, you can actually go to a Google Doc, create a table that's gonna be two by one. Then what you can do is open this up a little bit, move the table to be about three quarters of it to the right. And then I'm just gonna put an image here. Also just fun note, you can upload anything from your Google Drive as well pretty easily considering this is a Google suite. So I can upload something like logo for Rise Productive, or I can actually put a picture of me if I'd want to as well. You know, this is a picture that I use pretty often. So I could select this guy. And then on the right, I can do a heading two with my name and I can put my title, CEO Rise Productive, and then put something like riseproductive.com inside of here, www.riseproductive.com. If I need to at all, I can adjust the spacing here. So I could go and adjust this to like one and a half if I'd like, and then change these two to be a little bit closer, all right? Or I could keep it how it was, it's really up to you. Be adding a little bit of space, wouldn't hurt anybody, but at least I'm gonna make sure that these two things are pretty much aligned from a sizing perspective so that the setup looks pretty good. All right, now from here, what I could actually do is if I go into the table, so then I would right click and find table properties after clicking on the table. Then you would go to the color right here and you can set the table border to zero. Now, after this, you've essentially created something that's pretty easy to adjust to your liking. You just copy this entire table and then after copying it, you can go into any Gmail message and put this. Now, for me, I also might want to adjust this slightly to a font that would be better suited for me. So maybe I'd have Roboto Black for that and then Medium for the underpinnings there. So that works too. Now, a really cool option as well on top of this is not only can you paste this in, but I could take this image and press Insert Link, or as you can see, there is a shortcut as well, or something like Command K. And if I wanted to just put the website in here or I wanted to put like my YouTube channel, it's an option. This works great for social icons. And yes, once again, giving full credit to Jeff Sue for this really solid idea. I hadn't thought of this myself and I saw a YouTube short that he made and was just like, yeah, this is, this is 12 out of 10. So then after pasting the YouTube link here, you can see right here that it's hyperlinked. So I can just copy in here. Then you're going to inside of the settings, go to see all settings after pressing the gear icon there. And then let's scroll down and a great way to find anything is doing control or command F and doing signature and then creating a new signature. And then I'll just put my custom signature. Then from there, I can paste this table out and then make the default for new emails, my custom signature. You can also do that for replies, but it's up to you. So let's press save changes. And now anytime I press compose, Boom, we have a custom signature that's very easily put in there. Uh, another great thing to do would be, you know, if you do have a logo that's maybe a little bit better than this from like just an individual picture, I'd recommend finding something that could have some nicer sizing as well. I didn't necessarily pick the perfect option, but I wanted to show you what necessarily could be done here. So say for example, I remove this, something else that would be good from a spacing standpoint would definitely be, be finding an image that's a little bit more centralized. So I can do RP Rise Productive Logo. All right, so let's insert this guy. If I make this smaller, have it centrally aligned, this could look pretty nice too in an email, which you can see right here. Uh, it would probably look a little bit better. But I just love the way that this is so easily hyperlinked. And if I use social icons, this would work really well. Overall, this is just an absolutely 12 out of 10 trick that Jeff has, and I don't know where he found it, but originate all the ideas. Shout out to the productivity world for figuring out stuff like this. And shout out to you for making it through this video and checking out this video on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.